some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Hazleton, Pennsylvania, where we find an amateur frauditor trying to fraud at a post office. In fact, he is so green, he has only just unwrapped the plastic from his frauditor script, and it shows. Because he ends up being kicked out fairly easily, so let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So I guess I have to wait for the police now because I don't want to think... I don't want them to think that, I, that I'm running from them. By the way, I had to cut up so much of this video because it was just filled with dead air. Yes, it was over 30 minutes long and these are the last 10 minutes of the video. Most of the video is, like I said, dead air or he just rambles on about nothing and annoying people. So I'm going to be... Hanging out here for a little bit of the, I guess until the police shows. Which I know they, they grow up pretty quick. I guess this is my first amendment, first amendment audit uh, in Hazleton. <clears throat> uh, I'm inside the post office. Excuse me, what, what is your name that you call the cops? You call the cops? Yeah. Okay, so they're waiting, they're, they're coming, so I should wait for them. What is your name? You, I found out, you, you, you can give me your name? I feel very uncomfortable. A lot of people feel uncomfortable when they're on camera, but it's up to you how you're going to look on my video. Because I, I have the right to be here. This is my first amendment right to be here. Give me my love, okay? Thank you, dear. So you're not going to give me your name? No, it is not your First Amendment right to be there. The First Amendment is about publishing the story. You can still be kicked out of the post office or any other building when the tenants don't want you there. In fact, I think it's time for me to break out that Poster 7 meme that I have not used in quite a while. All right, ass Elmo, roll that clip. Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except we're prohibited, okay? It's not pro prohibited here. There are a number of things you glossed over in that. You didn't even complete the whole damn paragraph, and what you did read, you glossed over. The most important part that you did read, but totally ignored, was the part when used for public meetings. And there are no public meetings going on right there. So you don't have the authorization to do that without the installation head, which covers the last half of the paragraph you did not read. I will read the last part of the paragraph for you then. Prohibited by official signs or security force personnel or other authorized personnel or a federal court order or rule, other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the local postmaster or installation head. Hi, thank you for waiting. Here comes the cops now. Okay, I'm gonna wait for them right here, right where I was at. The lady didn't want to give me her name. Okay, guys, we have post office in Hazleton. She didn't want to give me her name. And they said that I'm not allowed to be here. Recording videos in public. 15 minutes later. Thank you, sir. 
I thought once inside a federal building. You no. Know. This is the First Amendment. For you, you have the First Amendment to record. Wire tap, wire tap was. There is no wire tap. Before you say there is no wiretap law in your state, you really should do a search to see if there is a wiretap on your state. And Pennsylvania does have a wiretap law. So you might want to be very careful of who you are recording. Because there's been some frauditors lately who have gotten in trouble over some wiretap laws. And you, sir, are not exempt from those either. There is no wiretap law here. Oh, good. I can get your name now. He can report in the post office. He can't report quarterback there. I did read the law. Sorry. This poster stuff. Read poster stuff. What's your name, sir? Officer. No, you guys came for me. I need your guys' name and badge numbers. I don't know if we're here for you or not yet. Yes, you guys called for me. Hello, hi, how are you? Can we speak with you for a minute? Or whoever's in charge or whatever? I want four names and four badge numbers. I don't have any of either. Okay. I don't want my picture on that. I want four names and four... After our investigation is completed, sir, Thank you. have all of our badge numbers. That's Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Names and badge numbers. Names and badge numbers. All part of the delightful Frauditor script. They have no variation. Don't you just love it? Yeah, I gotta pick up way too much to do. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, this is this is important yeah. for you to do to read the Constitution. No, I know, I know. It's, it's very know, important. I, I, I lawfully carry my gun wherever. That way, we can avoid things like this happening. You know, wasting resources and and, and calling the police and people that have the right to record. That's wasting resources. Yeah, I. The Constitution is not the only document out there, you moron. It is a foundational document. It is not an absolute document. It can be changed. It has been changed over time. Though very little. All you have to do is take a look at the uh, Prohibition era to find that out. Also, you have that pesky Tenth Amendment that allows states to come up with their own laws that are not covered in the Constitution. And states also have an amendment in their constitutions, usually, that allows for the local towns and cities to have their own laws come up on the books. You need to get your nose out of the constitution and start reading a few more books, dude. I need some help. Okay, help. So I have a, post, a, a, a package that was pre-approved to be sent out, however, for some... Reason, it will not let me print it. So I, I open it up for you, ma'am. No, that's okay. No, go ahead. No, that's okay. No, I'll let you out. Come on. I said thank you. I've been a gentleman. I don't open the door for you. Come on. You and your fake gentleman courtesies. Come on now. If you were a real gentleman, you wouldn't be here bothering everybody. You would be out getting a job right now and being a contributing member of society rather than being a leech like you are now. Your, your picture is already on the internet. Don't touch don't. me, please. Take my picture off. Just don't touch me, lady. I don't want you on that film. Okay, Mr. Castro. Corporal Kishel, he's in the city. All right. Over who? Kishel. Kishel. 183. They don't want you here, okay? They called for our assistance, okay? Okay. Apparently, just serving the customers. They asked you to, to, to fly out and stop filming, which you didn't. But they have any reason or excuse or whatever or want. If you're not here or whatever, then they want you to leave. So you're well, I came to here leave. to conduct business, and well, then I record the video. They don't want your business today. Maybe tomorrow you can. Well, they already try. got my business. I got oh. the receipt right here. Well, then that's fine. Then you're, you're good not. to go, then. 
Because well, you're I, doing everything. If I'm good to go, I'm good to stay. No, you're not good to stay. I'm not they good want to stay. To why? Why I'm not allowed to stay? Because they don't want you here. And they have the right. Are to you guys you violating my First Amendment right to be here? Your First Amendment right? What do you mean? What First Amendment right? I have the right to be here recording in public, and you guys, you are about to violate my right. Actually, record, recording in public, it's, and we're not here because you're recording in public. We're here because you're trespassing. Trespassing? Why I'm trespassing? Because they asked you to leave, and you didn't. No, because now, I'm recording. Now we're asking you to leave oh, so on behalf of them, Okay. and you're refusing. Are you refusing or not? I'm not refusing, refusing to, to okay. leave. I just, wanna, I want, just you... want to know your names and badge number. What's your name? Officer Keller, badge number 185. Officer McGinnis, badge number 208. Officer Yannick, Resident 218. And you are again? Tisha 183. You are my video. Gotcha. That's and fine. My, first, my very first video. So I'm, I'm leaving, but I'm, I want you guys to know that you guys violated my First Amendment right. Okay. Whatever you believe. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good day. All right, buddy. Thank you. Happy Take holidays. care. All right. No problem, man. Okay, guys. I'm leaving right now. So this is my First Amendment audit in Hazelden. I wonder about him. He's at the age of retirement. Did he make a bad investment to the point where he lost all his money and had to resort to doing this for a living? If that is the case, then that is really sad. But why don't you go find another job, one that would be m more beneficial to your retirement status and one that's not very likely to have you end up going to jail?